Now, let's talk about domestic debt restructuring. Let's imagine you've made different deals with different friends. Let's take your friend Bill. You borrowed some toys from Bill and promised to give them all back in six months. But now you realize you can't give them back to Bill in six months. It's actually going to take longer than that. So you tell Bill you'll give him back one toy every six months for the next five years. But your friend Bob, he's your best friend. So you've made a deal with him too to borrow his toys and give them back to him in 10 years. And as a thank you, you will give Bob 10 cookies every six months. A few years later, you realize this is going to be hard and cookies are more expensive. So you ask Bob if you can give him back the toys in 20 years instead and give him six cookies every six months. Bob is not very happy, but Bob would rather get all his toys back and he doesn't mind a 20 year supply of cookies. So the government sometimes needs money to do big things like building lots of schools or hospitals but they don't have enough money. So they ask people to lend them some money. Bill is basically a treasury bill. He only gives his toys for a short period of time, a couple of months or a year at most. Bob, on the other hand, is like a treasury bond. He lets you borrow some toys for much longer, sometimes two years, 20 years or even more. Debt restructuring is like borrowing toys from friends and making new plans to return them slowly over a period of time. Likewise, the government renegotiates loan terms with lenders to manage their debt obligations and continue funding important projects.